This week on Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the family of Eliminator Laser Scopes, Corbon Ammunition, CVA, Bergara Custom Barrels and Rifles, Kershaw Knives, and the new DeLorme in Reach. This week, Steve is hunting in eastern Montana, and after a long drive, he arrived at the lodge, and as always, he takes a few minutes to check the zero on his rifle. We just got to the lodge. I'm going to start my Montana deer hunt tomorrow. And the first thing I do whenever I get to my hunting destination is make sure that my gun is still zeroed. I spend a lot of money to come on these trips, like a lot of people do. And when we get to where we're going, we owe it not only to ourselves, but to the animals to make sure that our gun is still in perfect zero. You, know, you don't want to miss or worse yet, wound an animal when all you had to do is take a few minutes of your time to check the zero. Burn a hole. Yep. On the first morning of his hunt, he and guide Chris Baratini have driven to the top of a hill, overlooking more than a mile of hayfields along a river bottom, where they're glassing for whitetails and mule deer that hang out on the surrounding timbered ridges. We're doing, we're sitting up on this bluff this morning, glassing all up and down the river bottom. Both whitetail and mule deer are hanging out in here. It was pretty cold last night, so we're thinking once the sun comes up, the deer are gonna pop out and start getting active. But, uh, let's keep glassing, keep waiting. Sooner or later, something big's gonna show. This week, I'm hunting with my new Bergara custom rifle, chambered in 338 Winchester Magnum. I topped the gun with the new Burris Eliminator 3 laser scope and I loaded it with Corbon's 225 grain TDPX ammunition. This rifle has the versatility for short and long range shots, excellent ballistics, and the bullets have unmatched downrange performance. After spending a frosty, uneventful morning glassing the river bottom, Steve and Chris head off the hill and decide to come back a few hours later for the evening hunt. We're up here on the bluff where we were this morning. You know, it was a slow morning. It was really cold, kind of a funny night. Uh, but this is a field where they normally see, you know, two to 300 deer at a time. And we maybe only saw 40 or 50 total this morning. So they wanted to come back in here tonight. Chris and I have been glassing from up here. There's probably 60 or 70 deer out total at the moment. A couple of different mule deer bucks, quite a few whitetail bucks. Uh, the rut's just coming on now. Uh, you know, that's a beautiful thing about hunting here in Montana. My tag's good for a whitetail or a mule deer. In fact, you might remember last year when I came to Montana and hunted, I was looking for a mule deer and I ended up taking a big whitetail. We're about anywhere from a quarter of a mile to a mile away from the deer, depending on which bunch we're looking at. And we're just gonna wait for a big buck to feed out tonight before dark, and hopefully be able to have enough daylight to make a stock on one. So we're gonna get back to looking. Steve and Chris stayed on the hill all evening, and they saw a lot of deer. And just as the sun started to set, even more deer started to pour into the field. 
That first day, we spent a lot of time glassing the same area of the river bottom. And you might ask why? When we have tens of thousands of acres to hunt, would we spend all of our time in one spot glassing the same area? Well, we're looking for a big whitetail buck that Chris had seen a few days earlier. And unfortunately, that first day we didn't find him. But we'd be back the next day. Follow Steve's Outdoor Adventures on Facebook and Twitter and keep up with all the action as well as find out about some great giveaways that we have throughout the year. When we come back from commercial break, find out if Steve gets a shot at a big Montana river bottom whitetail. Caldwell's Dead Shot Field Pod. Bench rest accuracy when it matters most. 90% of the Earth's surface lacks cellular coverage. So, what happens if you get lost or injured? What if something critical happens at home and your loved ones need to reach you? InReach SE allows you to send and receive text messages to any cell number or email address. Track your trips so friends and family can follow along or declare an SOS anywhere on Earth through the Iridium Satellite Network. So on your next adventure, stay safe, stay in touch, and stay in reach. The Burris C4 Plus Rifle Scope gives you the ability to match elevation to your favorite rifle and to your favorite bullet. Finally, you can say goodbye to holdover. You can get a custom clicker that lets you dial in the distance to your target for a precise aiming point for your exact cartridge. The convenient wind map makes wind holdoff easy to calculate, so you can take that shot with absolute confidence. The Burris C4 Plus Custom Scope. Pinpoint accuracy is easier than ever. Visit us online at BurrisOptics.com. Shoot and see. Reactive target. Shoot more. Shoot better. When we went back to the river bottom the next morning, we let the cold morning fog lift and started glassing. And it wasn't long before Chris got a quick glimpse of what he thought was a big deer that he'd been looking for. And he had a plan. When we were up on the vantage point, we spotted what looked to be a, a mature deer down the river. Chris put the spot and scope on him for just a split second and says possibly something we might want to get a closer look at, but he got in the brush hasn't come out yet so we've come down here we're gonna get in pretty close put the rattle to him do a little grunt and see if we can't get him across the creek or at least pop out in the open Chris can get a better look at him for me so let's do it man let's go As soon as we got set up, Chris started a rattling sequence and I added some grunting. We figured that we'd try everything to try and pull that buck out in the open. And it worked.
We had a really nice rattle sequence here. We got set up against the hill. We knew that there was a mature whitetail across the river from us. We didn't really get a good look at his antlers from up at the, the vantage point. Um, so we moved in, did a rattle sequence. Sure enough, he came out to our side of the brush line across the river from us. He's turned out to be the pitchfork buck. He is mature, but he definitely isn't carrying the antlers that we're looking for. So Chris is convinced we gotta go try a little different spot and get up in a little bit higher country and start looking for some of these deer as they head up to their bedding areas. We left the river bottom and headed up into the pine covered breaks. And while we might still see whitetails up there, our focus was quickly switching to mule deer. When we come back from commercial break, Steve finds the mule deer mother load. This segment is sponsored by Lights Out Trail Camera by Wild Game Innovations. If you want hard hitting bullets with deep penetrating performance, look no further than Corbon. It's 100% copper and fast expanding with near 100% weight retention every time. I don't trust any other ammunition, and in my line of work, my life depends on quality ammo. Corbon is the official ammunition of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. So next time you're in the field, load up with Corbon DPX ammunition and drop them dead in their tracks. Introducing the most comprehensive line of vault accessories available today. Featuring humidity control and monitoring for organizing and enhancing any gun vault. Lock down. Get the most out of your vault. Caldwell engineered the lead sled to eliminate felt recoil from even the heaviest Magnum rifles. No recoil, no flinch, no excuses. The lead sled line from Caldwell. The most advanced shooting rests ever developed. Crossbreed holsters, leaders in holster concealment and comfort, handmade in the USA. The next day, we decided to really focus on hunting up in the breaks for mule deer. They were a bit deeper into the rut, and Chris was confident that we'd find a big buck if we hunted hard enough and covered enough ground. In mule deer country, Tactics stay the same. Get up on high vantage points and glass as much country as possible. Glassing takes patience, something that I'm short on, but Chris has a gift for. He has great eyes and he can stay on a hilltop for hours, pulling the landscape apart, looking for the big buck that he knows is there. And I know that if I hang with Chris long enough, that I'm gonna get a shot at a big buck. Well, just about seven or 800 yards from us here is a really nice, you know, probably 150, 160 inch four by four buck. He's got brow tines and real nice deep forks front and back. He's just not real wide, but he's a mature deer. Chris and I have been talking about it. He's looked it over in the spot and scope real good. We've gone ahead and decided to pass on him. Um, this place has got bigger deer. Might be a decision we regret, but there's some big bucks out in this country, and the rut just seems to be running a little bit late this year. I don't know, and, but uh, who knows what we're going to find going over the next hill. So we're going to keep cruising to vantage points and glassing, and hopefully we'll find that that next step up in caliber of deer. We all know what could happen if a firearm is left unsecured. And by using proper storage techniques, accidents can be avoided. Like many things in life, owning a firearm comes with responsibility. The safe storage message from the NRA is clear. Always store your firearm so that it's inaccessible to unauthorized persons. And by securing your firearm, you can keep it out of unwanted hands. And there are lots of ways to make your firearm safe. It's time for every firearm owner to store their gun safely. This gun safety message has been approved by the NRA and brought to you by Stack On.
We finished up the day glassing the brakes, and that night, right before dark, we saw a lot of deer starting to pop up everywhere and some good rut activity with young four-point buck chasing some does on the skyline. I really felt like the next morning it was gonna happen. Sure enough, the next morning, Steve spots a mature buck on the distant skyline and takes it as a good omen for what's to come. That skyline buck was mature, but not what I was looking for. And we started seeing bucks with does. From the time we entered the ranch, we were constantly looking at deer. It was just a matter of time before we found the right buck. With time running out in his hunt, Steve and Chris leave the lower valleys and head up high to glass the bigger canyons and timbered breaks. Hey, mister, are you stupid or something? Why are you washing the inside of your truck? Because I can. Marathon Seat Covers are an official sponsor of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Will Steve get a shot at a trophy mule deer buck? Find out after this short commercial break. This segment was sponsored by Steiner Optics and the new Predator Binoculars. Steve's Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the family of Eliminator Laser Scopes. Corbon Ammunition. CBA, Vergara Custom Barrels and Rifles, Kershaw Knives, and the new DeLorme in Reach. If you'd like to book your own guided big game hunting adventure, give my office a call. I will personally take your calls, answer your questions, and help you book the hunting or fishing trip of a lifetime. When we went to commercial break, Steve and Chris were moving up into higher country as time runs out on Steve's hunt. We've got a buck spotted over here across the canyon. He's probably, oh, know, six, 700 yards away from him. He's got a doe with him, another buck and a doe down to their left. It's a real solid four point buck. So, he's walking out right now. We're gonna take one more look at him, then we're gonna make a stock if he's good. You see her, you see her. Then you have him. 10 yards straight left of her. With his butt. This buck is up there, a little over a half mile from us. We're actually going to go all the way around to stay totally out of sight. We're going to get the wind in our favor that's blowing at us, and we're going to go right up the bottom. Our plan is to try and get within 300 yards of him. This is a good buck. This was a nice 4x4 buck with deep front forks and he was holed up with a doe and another buck. It was the last day of my hunt and we needed to make it happen. 332.
My shot went in low, and I actually missed the sweet spot by about eight inches. The bullet hit him high in the near side leg and entered the chest cavity low. But this is where it paid to have the horsepower of the 338 Winchester Magnum. The TDPX bullet expanded perfectly, and the buck only went about 30 yards before he expired. Last day. For some reason, I seem to always get drug out to the last day. And that's a nice buck. Yes. Chris is up on the hill spotting. Here he comes. <laughs> Thanks, man. 332. Is that how far it was? Yeah, just right to the rock. Oh, I know we were going to go for the dirt bank right there. And you're right, it was going to be 3350 from the dirt bank. But when I came around the corner and I saw him looking at me, I didn't want to go that way. Yeah. I figured I'd just get down and shoot. I think they heard that snow crunching. Oh, I'm so sure. still this morning. We had the wind, but. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had the wind. We had the sun a little bit that way, but. It was nice, uh, nice spot, bud. <laughs> you spot them, I'll shoot them. It's uh, about 12 year tradition we got going here. <laughs> one of these days I'm gonna let Chris shoot one. <laughs> the five day buck. He did fight it off a little bit there. Rotons, great deer. Day five here in Montana and I couldn't be happier. It's been an amazing week. Looked at lots of mule deer and whitetail bucks. Today, we just had a feeling it was gonna happen. Chris spotted this buck with his doe up in a secluded coulee about a half mile away. Made a great stock up the bottom. Chris stayed up in a vantage point where he could keep an eye on him. He said about halfway there, they had us pegged, crunching in the snow down there. Well, we closed the distance, finally spotted him. He had us pegged. We were at 332 yards, got prone and made it happen. Montana is an awesome state for big game hunting, and our private ranches in eastern Montana are second to none when it comes to quality mule deer and whitetail hunting. In fact, if you'd like to book a guided big game hunt there for yourself, contact my office. I will personally take your calls, answer your emails, and help you book the hunting or fishing trip of a lifetime. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's show. But please remember to join us again next week when we bring you another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. With another successful hunt accomplished, Steve points his truck southwest and heads for Northwest Colorado. With a snowstorm coming, the elk are sure to be heading out of the high country. But that's another story for another week on Steve's Outdoor Adventures.